Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Sneak King, where we have reprised the role of the Burger King, arrived freshly into this cul-de-sac, this uh, suburban, this closed gate neighborhood, uh, where people are just wandering around their homes to such a degree that they are passing out from hunger. You know, that's like supposedly the Burger King is running around like, he ran around the sawmill handing out breakfast um, to the employees, to his loyal subjects. Uh, with, but choosing not to elect to give these employees breaks so that they could actually enjoy their food. Apparently, they're just gobbling the food down while reporters are asking them questions. Either because uh, they're, they're just starving so much or because... For some reason, they waited until the Burger King left, and then reporters came to eat their food. It's a little bit mysterious. Either way, like, these people are just kind of wandering around their homes, not even electing to go inside their homes to use the food they have. So I would have to say the Burger King has some real issues to tackle in regards to uh, uh, the availability, the economy, the scarcity of, of food. Like, this guy's painting... A fence? This person? Is just infinitely going around handing mail to these people. How did he get even mail? Like, I guess uh, like his, his uh, mail van is still stuck inside the gated community. But let us go. Let us feed them. It is no secret that feeding the hungry is a satisfying pastime. Delivering to five hungry people right now before they pass out is even more satisfying. There's no time limit, so you can cool your heels this round. All right. Let's see if we can find some of these hungry people. Now, I actually know how to use the radar now. Uh, so this person is hungry. Oh. Uh, Why can't I give them food? Hmm. Let's try to give this person food. If not, let's back out of the mission and try again. Okay, let's restart the challenge. Something went wrong. Ah. Well, that also went wrong. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. I have to literally wait until right before they pass out. Before I'm allowed to give them food. I need to wait for their hunger to deepen so greatly. Truly, that is the twisted mind of the Burger King, offering some fries, uh, that he would allow his subjects to starve to such a degree, just to make his flourishes even more passable. Um, are you... There we go. Ah, that was a flourish of two. Now handing out fries. Because prior to this, we were handing out breakfast foods at the sawmill. It was the beginning of the day. But now, it is lunchtime. Actually, let's see if I can... catch this girl before she passes out. Nope. He's going inside. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, is this a new dance? How is he able to hold the platter of fries upright uh, to such a degree that he doesn't spill any fries? That is the skill of a king. Um, no, no. You are not going to spot us today. Aw, oh, yeah. And then... 
Let's deliver to this person who's just slowly making their way into their backyard. But the hunger. Oh, what are these two people up to? You know, it's said that there's no timer, so relax. But let's see if the, um... If this is going to be based... Yeah, okay, it's based on points. Also, something I discovered while I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong is this game has a first-person mode. Now, the first-person mode, you, you, you can't walk around using it. Um, and if you could, it would be the worst thing created by man. From this first-person perspective, it feels less like I'm playing as the Burger King, handing out burgers and fries to this suburban community, and more like I'm playing as Michael Myers, stalking these people in plain sight. And, and I think, I don't know what does the effect, is it just the breathing that really does it? Like if it was just a first-person view? Or is it the mask? Or is it just the combination of the two? But... Yeesh. That is a feature nobody asked for. But then, supposedly, I suppose this game is something nobody asked for. Here's another chance for you to watch the king sprint his kingly sprint. You've got three minutes to score 20,000 points. Bust a move. Hey! That's another game! How did the king know about it? No. Ah, son of a... That's okay, I have no chain, so I had no chain to lose. What's this guy doing behind this house? What is she doing, even? What are any of these people doing? Let's see, can I go to the backyard and feed this lady some fries, I guess? Burger? A burger! Alright. Ooh, I might be able to get this starving man at the end of the truck before he passes out. Excellent. Uh, if you need me, I'm going to be organizing the Sneak King 2021 Championships. Uh, it, it's uh, at Evo. It'll, it'll be fantastic. Oh, and an A ranking. That is, that is my highest ranking yet. Excellent. All right, uh, let us run over here, collect a mission. We are raring to go. You've got six Whopper sandwiches. Find at least three of them, homes in the bellies of hungry civilians. And you've won yourself a challenge. Press the surprise button at the wrong time. We'll lose you a burger, so be careful. Huh. So, don't give it to people who aren't hungry? I don't get it. So the challenge is just don't push the button when you're not supposed to push the button. That is the challenge. Come back here, I will feed you. Wah, 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 wah. Oh yeah, check out this burger. This whopper. This kingly meat.
All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who I have fed, who, uh, who has not been fed, who was hungry. I'm sorry. I'm just going through this affluent community who all have homes, and I'm giving them all food, despite the fact that they are right outside their homes, for the most part. Like, the post office employee is not outside his home. So maybe that's why he gets priority. Deliver all five of your Whopper Jr. sandwiches without losing a single one. A perfect record for the ultimate sneak king. I don't get this one. Um, what, what is the challenge? Like, am I mean, just supposed to... Are they, like, thinking to themselves... Players who are playing the game, the real challenge is pressing the A button. Have you pressed the A button at the time in which you are supposed to press it? When it is on screen. If you have pressed it when it is off screen, that is the incorrect time. And you deserve the penalty. Ah, son of a... Yep, never mind. I spoke too soon. I always speak too soon in regards to that. Um, he was walking by... He was walking by and he got just a little too far away. Uh, let us try this again. Starting with this man on the route. But that is what I get for being a little bit too hasty with my Whopper Jr. delivery. Um, hmm. I see. Nope, nope. Oh, that's okay. I see you are also wanting of the burger. Well, I'll have you know, the king doesn't necessarily care about which subjects he delivers food to as much as their vicinity to him. Their ease of access. That is truly what the what the king cares about. Oh, hello. All right. Second time is the charm. Also, as you can see, I'm not necessarily worried about mission order this time. Uh, I stopped doing it sometime during the first uh, set of levels. There's really no point. Impress the ladies in this challenge. Deliver six delicious snacks to the hungry women in this level. Let one of them pass out from hunger, and you're no gentleman, let alone king. All right. Ma'am, I've got some food for you. Mmm. And you, my lady, have I got something for you. I just entered your backyard without announcing myself to give you this food. Nothing creepy about that. With my mask on. Which is clearly a mask, because in first person mode, uh, it shows him within the mask. Oh, nope. Um. Damn it. Now I'm gonna... No? Okay, you're coming this way. I know, like you weren't expecting a king in your trash. But here I am, and now I smell of trash. I definitely smell of trash and Burger King, which are two completely different smells. Uh, but let us see if we can feed this lady over here before she turns around. There we go. 
That was a close one. She had almost spotted the king and would have denied herself her own satisfaction. No. And you, are you going left or right? Left, oh, no, no, oh, oh my gosh. That was close. Wow, and that lighting engine looks like it's trying to render so much with so little. Oh, no, oh, oh my, there we go. All right, now I gotta be careful because there are two people talking. Yeah! Oh, they got a pool back. They're watering the lawn forever. All right, let's go to... Yeah, they have unit numbers. Let's go to the backyard of number six. You seem to be getting the hang of the sneak. Now let's work on the surprise. You have seven French fries. Deliver at least five of them from a hiding space, hiding place, and win our love and respect. Um, huh. Problem with the hiding place thing is you also have to know the patterns that the enemies, the enemies, uh, these people actually go through. Like, don't even, yeah, that person's not even going to get anywhere close to a hiding place. All right, let's see how well this goes. Um, like, does that person take a right down the sidewalk or a left? Are there hiding places around? Ooh, hold on. I might be able to get into this hiding place. No, he gets nowhere near it. Great. Okay. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Just wait for me to really, really slowly get out of this hiding place. Excellent. Oh, uh, okay, another one. Yeah. I have you now. You are eat. You have eaten. It is useless to resist. Huh. Except that guy is going to be too hungry to do anything. Yeah, he's going to be too hungry to get anywhere close to a hiding spot. Aha! Am I fast enough? Yes, I am! Come on, you can, you can do it, king! Alright, and I think I should be able to get this lady again. Very slip while people are passing out on their street, uh, on their driveways because there's nothing to to hide in. All right, can I get? Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Excellent. Uh, that took a little while. But it's, it's uh, like, there's so many people who can be hungry, but not all of them are passing, are nearby uh, hiding places, let alone are programmed to even pass by hiding places. And then sometimes their hunger, like, they might get hungry, um, like, come far too far away from their hiding places. While BK chicken fries have some natural flourishes in their fry-like constitution, your challenge is to add even more as you deliver five of these BK chicken fries 
to your hungry citizens with mandatory flourishes added for effect. What does that mean? I mean, does that mean I can do, like, just level one flourishes for everything? Because even a level one flourish is still a flourish. Oh, no, no. No, no. Awesome. You almost got me. Hmm. Okay. And now he's going to go to the mailbox. Now I can do some flourishes for this lady. She's going to pass out. You know, this person shouldn't work on his car for so long that he, like, ignores his own uh, meals. These are, like, meal food is important. I don't think the pe I don't think his subjects realize this. All right. Oh, a uh, new mission has appeared over here. Put your Sneak King skills to the test as you try to score more than 2,000 points in a single delivery. Be prudent, though you only have three Whopper sandwiches to get it right. That's a really, really easy challenge. Um, in theory, I should even be able to do this with the very first delivery I get. If I wait for her hunger to develop long enough till the last possible moment. Add some flourish. There we go. 2,000 points. In the bag. Much like the Burger King food. Much like the Burger King food. But he never delivers it in a bag. He always delivers it in a tray. Ooh, and I got a rank A. I'm getting a lot of rank A's today. Just bringing in that sick Sneak King skill. Well, except for the part where I have to find hiding places. I am terrible at that. You should have this sneaking thing down pat by now. See if you can deliver all five of these tasty french fries to folks in this level without being seen at all, or severely disappoint those of us who thought you knew what you were doing. I do accept this challenge. Oh, hold on. I didn't even realize that there were uh, paths in between these bushes. Do you turn right or turn... Oh, you turn complete 180. Um, you are heading for the fence. Your sight goes over the... Wah! Wah! Huh. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to either of these uh, hungry folks in time. So let us go to her instead. And then I could hit up the mover. Maybe. Uh, nope. This lady is going to... Make things tricky. And then the postman and everything will be done. 
There we go. All right. Oh, that was challenge 17. Strange how these challenges have numbers, uh, but the only way to see the numbers is by getting to the challenge themselves. Escalation is the name of the game. Deliver these three Whopper Jr. sandwiches with flourishes in ascending order. Start small and let your flourishes flourish. Alright, that's an interesting challenge. Okay. So you can't do a regular surprise. You have to go for, at the minimum, a flourish one. I suppose that makes sense. I should have expected that. Damn it. That's too much flourish. I know, King, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. Eventually. I wanted to see whether the the time... The, I forgot whether the meter uh, restores itself uh, and just keeps going back and forth, or you'll only get one try. So let us try again. We'll do this. Mmm, two... Hmm. I believe in a. I believe in myself. And the power of the king. Ah. You know, the problem is, like, I haven't really been that worried about what level of flourish that I've ever done. Uh, so that I haven't really spent time actually trying to go for specific flourishes other than maximum flourish. So every time that I try to go for the minimum flourish without actually, yeah, for that flourish one state. But I suppose that's why it's a challenge. There we go. That was a little close. All right. Who else needs food? Apparently... Um, maybe somebody in this backyard? And I have to... Uh, I have to make sure it is a flourish of two. There we go. Excellent. And now... For a flourish of three. Excellent. For some reason, that flourish of one uh, just threw me off. But that's okay. Okay, let's see what's next in our list of Burger King related uh, challenges. Welcome to the speed flourish round. You have two minutes. Can you perform eight? Flourishes before the king passes out from dizziness. Trick question. The king doesn't get dizzy. He gets freaky. Ugh. Honestly, I don't want to ever, ever find out what happens when the king gets freaky. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Huh. Oh my gosh, that is too close. Oh. But now you need to. It didn't say I need to do maximum flourish. As long as I do a flourish. 
Okay, so that's actually good to know then, because that means I can't do a, a regular surprise. Damn it. I was so close. And I think I got three more to do in the next minute and eight seconds. Alright, who did I grab? The hungry person or the... Well, I guess they're both hungry. But one person is hungrier than the other. Hmm. Not fast enough. Can I get to this mailman? And now, moving van guy. Son of a... Mm, looks like you don't get any food. You get nothing. Alright. With 27 seconds to spare. Huzzah! Ah, uh, a bee. Alright, where shall we go next? Shall we visit house number... Three? Like, these are written in very, like, tiny letters. Hard to see from this street. For this challenge, make five deliveries to people with hunger level three. It may t it might take a while for folks to get that hungry, so feel free to pass the time by jumping in and out of hiding places, running around, or practicing your crouching sneak. Oh, hello. I see you're hungry. Are you hungry enough for Burger King? That person is now hungry enough to eat Burger King. That must be pretty hungry indeed. Are you hungry enough to eat Burger King? And now I just need... Oh, three more people. I thought it was just, uh... Oh, my camera. 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 Does it need to be at least three or exactly three? Hmm. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Postman. Look and see. Have I got a burger for thee? I know you've been waiting of such a long time for these chicken fries of mine. Oh, that is a close-up of his medallion. His Burger King medallion. That he wears proudly around his neck, designating him the Burger King. A rank A! Excellent! Now, I, sp I mentioned before that uh, like, I'm not really in it for the points. I've never really been any into any game for the points. But I am pleasantly surprised that I'm doing pretty well <laughs> with the points. It's time to take surprise sandwich delivery back to its roots. Your task is to deliver a meaty treat to any five men who get hungry. Simple enough. But if any one of them pass out, your career as the sneak king is a failed one. At least for this challenge. Alright. So first we've got moving guy. Ooh. 
with maximum flourish. And then we've got... So if you can catch enough people in a row, you can actually chain some sneak surprises before their uh, vision uh, turns back on. Nope, that was just a flourish of two. Another flourish of two. This performance is getting kicked off of the EVO main stage, no doubt. Nobody is subscribing to my Twitch to see this kind of content. Up oh, there we go, flourish of three. And it is done. Uh, but a rank of C. All right, what do we have next? Um, it looks like another challenge has opened up behind... Two challenges have opened up behind this house. The neighborhood backyards are where your next five deliveries take place. Only deliver to those who spend some time in the backyards. Or you'll fail this challenge. Huh. Again, interesting. But is it going to give me... Like, listings for people who uh, are in backyards? Or everybody? All right, let's see if I can get to this person in time. I can. You're in a backyard. That means you get some food. Oh, hold on. These two ladies are in a backyard. Now it would be awfully convenient if this other lady got hungry immediately. But unfortunately that's not going to happen. Also it is very convenient that all of these backyards are connected together through gaps in fences and bushes. Um, lady, I'm going to need you to get closer. Aw, oh, yeah, check out these pearly whites. And I believe I should be able to get to this guy in time. To save him from his hunger. And then, let's take care of the guy taking care of this tree, and we should be A-OK. -okay. Oh, just a regular flourish. Allow me to hand you this burger and platter that I was keeping within my satchel underneath my robes, wherever it might be. Relying purely on your stealthy kingliness, try to score 10,000 points in two minutes. Good luck. Oh my gosh. That, uh... That is not a good way to start. Someone on my map. Get hungry. Okay, I'm going to let this person's hunger grow and grow 
until it reaches a threshold. I don't know if that was really necessary for the first one. Um, especially since there's no multiplier involved, really. Other than, I suppose, the regular multipliers. And considering the fact that I'm timed... Oh, hello. I'm going to quickly give you some food. I keep getting this flourish of two. Oh, not fast enough for him. Am I going to be fast enough for this lady? Will I save her from her hunger pangs? No. Oh, can I feed you from across the fence? I can! And I think that's good enough for this mission. It is. Ah, a rank of B. Not bad. All right. Five missions to go, and then we are done with the cul-de-sac. What is next for us? Your task is to make six deliveries of these BK chicken fries, but do them all from the confines of a hiding place. Think you can handle that, your majesty? No. Especially if people see me, like, right away. But then they weren't really that hungry to begin with. The problem is finding these hiding places. I'm not very good at that. So I will hopefully accomplish it eventually. All right. It took forever to finally get somebody uh, to get into a hiding place in front of somebody who is also hungry. One out of six. Five more to go. Like that person over there, it's too late for them. They're not going to make it in time back to this hiding place. That person? There's no way I can get into the hiding place that's directly in front of them. And they will pass out. Oh, hold up. This person's hungry. Nearing my hiding place. Okay. Two deliveries done. Four to go. Thank goodness this isn't timed because, oof. That would be awful. Like, like this guy, he goes to the moving truck. And where does his route take him? It doesn't even take him close to the door. Like, the door would be, uh... Would be a spot. Are you... are you done, lady? Have you slid all the way to the floor? <laughs> yeah, good enough. Finally, number three of six. I will give you some food next to this other person who has passed out of... due to hunger. Fast enough for this person. Now, excuse me, I have a... Oh. A thing to give you. Oof. 
Four out of six. Almost there. And immediately, five out of six? Yes, I broke into this person's home specifically uh, to give you this uh, platter of chicken fries. Perhaps you will enjoy them. Perhaps you will enjoy them indeed. Finally. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Oh. Video game. If you want a mission, that was a rank A. I was spotted a billion times. It took me like 36 minutes to do that whole thing. That was a rank A. Wow. Put your flourishes on hold, partner. Try scoring 5,000 points in the next two minutes without a flourish of any kind. Interesting. Um, so in that case, let us... Mm, let us restart the challenge because... That's going to be trickier. Um, we are going to build a multiplier. And rely on two things. We're going to rely on their hunger and the multiplier uh, to carry us on. And that should in theory, be enough. We only have to get 2,000 points, was it, right? In a single... delivery? Let's let her hunger grow a little bit more. Okay, so I'm almost there. Oh, no, oh, oh, it's, oof. that was close. All right, now we've done it, yep. It was a combination of that hunger with the uh, chain that has enabled us to succeed. Hiding places would have also worked, but that's the thing. There are only, like, so many hiding places. And there are people that don't even walk in front of hiding places. Oh, uh, there's a mission over here. Let us find out what it is. They say that kids should be seen and not heard. That's a bunch of garbage. But it's a nice segue into this challenge in which you must not be seen as you make six deliveries in the next two minutes. Oh, she can sit down. What is she doing down there? Hmm. All right, excuse me, ma'am. I have a burger for you. Okay, and now I shall go back to this lady who's sitting down on the floor for some reason next to somebody who's standing up. Alright, now that uh, she had to stand up to receive her delivery, she doesn't need to sit back down again. Now this guy, this guy over here in the suit, he keeps walking up to the house uh, that's in this driveway. But every time... 
every time he got close, he would always pass out before I could sneak up on him from inside the doorway. He never got close enough for me to uh, surprise him from a hidden spot. And it was very aggravating. I'm like, just get a little bit... And then there was another person who passed out within their own home. They just, they walked into the door. Oh, a rank A. Uh, they walked through the door and just stood there inside the doorway. And then did nothing. They just passed out. Alright, let us see what mission we have for the 19th. I don't know which mission number it is. I haven't been paying attention at all. Oh, mission 19. Speed and successful deliveries are of the essence in this next challenge. Come to think of it, they're of the essence in all of these challenges. But this one especially as you race to assemble a chain count of seven in four minutes. I can do that. With these, uh, chicken fingers? Oh. That was very kind of you. I will accept the chance to deliver, like, to two people in a row. Oh, uh, but I definitely can't be caught because that resets the chain. One second while I catch this lady. And then the mailman. Actually, let's go after this woman in the dress. Because she's hungry. And then I could hit up the mailman, and then I can hit up whoever is walking by me. Probably the businessman in this suit. That's what it feels like that I've spent so much time on this level that I'm starting to remember uh, the individual characters that live on this cul-de-sac. Um, let's wait for him to turn around. I think he turns around right away. Yeah, he just opens the door and... and leaves. Doesn't do anything. Oh, and then this lady is hungry. And there we go. A, a chain of seven. And I still have three minutes and five seconds to go. I would be surprised if this wasn't a rank of A. Unless it's score-based, in which case, yep, it's timer-based. And now for the final challenge, which, as long as it doesn't have anything to do with hidden spots, I should be okay. And actually, uh, yeah, let's go grab it. Beating this final challenge would be a big jewel in your crown on your way to becoming the Sneak King. So do your best to deliver a Whopper sandwich to everyone in the level without letting a single one pass out. Yeah. All right. Let us start with you, I guess. Yeah. What happened to his broom? Oh, there it goes. Also, notice how the water, um, the transparency is like too transparent. Like, uh, even when the water is between you and the other characters, you can still, uh, see them in front of it. Ah, uh, son, I was, I did not, I should have run faster before the vi the vision cones uh, showed up again. Let, let's cut back to this point. Okay, now that, I, that I've uh, done the delivery, I can quickly resume running right past them before their vision cones uh, reset themselves. And Mr. Postman... And then now we've got this lady who goes door to door just talking to people.
All right. And then the next person looks like they're in a backyard. Um, thank you for turning around. Oh yeah, there this there's this person who kind of just idles within uh, this gazebo thing, but I can't reach her from there. There we go. And then there's this guy who's hangs around a treehouse. Spends a lot of time not getting very close to it. But there's an advantage that this level has for this particular uh, mission that the sawmill um, doesn't. And the advantage here is that you don't have to worry about uh, knocking down any trees, or lowering any bridges, or getting past anything. Like going through a building to go from one side of the level to the other. Uh, this is a very open and interconnected map. Oh, I see them now. They are way in the back of this backyard. That's okay. I should be able to make it to them on time. Oh, same backyard. That's convenient. Am I going to... Oh, son of a... Alright, I'm going to cut back to this point. All right, now I need to remember this guy does sudden 180s. Also, this other guy who is pruning the tree just uh, stopped pruning and walked away. I did not know he had the ability to do so. To move around with his own free will. All right, let's run past this person before they see us and hopefully get to this other backyard fast enough. But regardless of how fast Burger King ran, his query was so far away. Alright. There, there we go. Let's uh, get out of here. Um, let's see, there's somebody going up to the door, that's fine. And this person looks like it's going to be the other person in... Oh, uh, almost. Well, because there was somebody else pruning a tree in this other backyard with the, uh, lady in the gazebo, or the... Whatever you call that area. It's like this game is making is uh is forcing me to actually get some decent scores out of some of these people simply because of how far away they are from each other. Oh, 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 son of a This is a lot of people crisscrossing right in front of each other. They're good, but the Burger King is better. All right, now who's next? Oh yeah, there's this lady who kind of like keeps up oh, turning around back and forth. All right. Oh, and then there's the fence painter. Who's just staring at the fence now. In his defense, he's hungry. I don't want to fence his priorities in.
Maybe he realized uh, painting the fence isn't helping him uh, learn karate. Like he thought it would. Now, who is this? Not the mover, who's going to be moving left. There we go, there's the lady in the blue dress. Or green dress. Blue-green dress. Alright, and now we've got the suited man- oh, oh my gosh, that was too close. I wouldn't have lost the level, but I would have lost my chain, which is all the way to 19. Alright. And now for the final touch. There we go. Oh, we are done with the cul-de-sac. We are the victors. And to the victors, the spoils of the rank C. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Move on to the construction site, which sounds completely different from a sawmill. The usually quiet community of Larchmont was buzzing with excitement yesterday after the unannounced arrival of a regal visitor. The king himself appeared bearing a cornucopia of hearty, tasty Burger King food. The overwhelming majesty and nobleness of the king's sudden arrival caught many in the community off guard. Some at the scene described the occasion as majestic, regal, and also uncanny, as it was hard to know how the king knew they were all hungry. Uh, the king's hunger sense was tingling. Yeah, that's, that's the, let's not do that. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna stop here for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.